the V technique is the easiest way to create stunning eyeshadow looks. Hi everyone, it's Mitha. Welcome back. I had recently demonstrated the V technique using cream eyeshadow sticks. And in the comment section of that video, many of you requested me to do the same with pressed powder eyeshadows. So I decided to use the world's most beautiful palette to demonstrate this technique. If you're ready, let's begin. Starting off with my brows, I'm going to be using the House Labs, the Edge Precision Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Brown Black. If you've observed, I love brow pencils which have that micro tip because it's very easy to draw very natural looking hair like strokes. And I only use it to fill in the sparse areas. That's pretty much it with my brows and now on to eye makeup but before that it's important to prime the lids whether you're using a concealer or a primer. Today I'm going to be using a primer by Rare Beauty. You'll find all of these products linked within this video. If you click on view products on the left hand side at the bottom it'll open up all the products that I'm using in this tutorial. I wanted to take a moment to appreciate the palette that I'll be using today. I told you it's going to be the world's most beautiful palette. This is by Base Blue Cosmetics. This looks like a painting that can be displayed in a museum. How stunning is this? And within this frame is the eyeshadow palette. This is the artistic eyeshadow palette. So you open it up and reveal the palette. I'm going to first start with this light metallic shade and highlight my brow bones using a flat shader brush. Now for the V technique, it is so simple. I'm going with this bronzy brown eyeshadow, beautiful eyeshadow with a small flat shader brush. I'm going to draw out the inner V and the outer V. I'm taking a little bit more of that same eyeshadow and I'm going to use it in the outer third and inner third of my lower lash line. With the residue that's left on the brush and using the eyeshadow that's in the corners, I'm going to start shading it towards the center of the lid. In the outer corner, I'm also going to buff out the edges. First, I'm going to soften it using the same flat shader brush and then with a blending brush, I'm going to buff it out a little bit more so it looks more blended. Now I'm going to dip into this beautiful muted gold with my finger and apply it in that gap right in the center of my lid. That gives that pop of highlight in the center, making your eye appear bigger and rounder. And now with the flat shader brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. And just to take this one notch up, I'm going to dip into this lighter metallic shade, which I used as a highlighter on my brow bone. And I'm going to pop it right in that center of the highlight. And you can see how stunning that looks. I'm also going to use the gold eyeshadow in my lower lash line. But before that, I'm applying a little bit more of the primer. So it forms that sticky surface. And then I'm going to use the metallic eyeshadow over it. I decided to dip into this deeper shade and create a smoky wing in the outer corner just to give that extra oomph. For this, I'm using a small angled brush. Time to finish up. So I'm going to first curl my lashes with the Sally Hansen Curler before I apply the Grande Lash Mascara both to my top as well as bottom lashes. You can use false lashes if you prefer and if you're new to my channel, I don't use false lashes in every single one of my tutorials. I like to give both options so I pick and choose when I want to use false lashes because I feel like you can create extremely glam looks even without using false lashes. And here's the finished eye look. How easy was that? All you have to do is the V's in the outer and inner corners blend it out and use a spotlight right in the center to reveal one of the most stunning eye makeup looks that goes with any eye shape. I'm going to pair this look with my favorite lip combo first using the Ofra lip liner in plum. I'm going to use it in the border and then shade it inward so when I use the lipstick it's going to blend much better. For lipstick, I'm going to be using Bestie by Ofra. It's my collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. I'm just going to use a little bit in the center and I'm going to smack my lips so it spreads evenly across. And then I'm going to top it off with the transparent lip plumper. And here's the finished look. Whether you're using cream eyeshadows or pressed powder eyeshadows, you can never go wrong with the V technique. It looks fantastic. You can create stunning looks every single time. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts, so comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Check out all the products that I used in the view products link in this video. You'll find it on the left bottom corner. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Thank you.